Hi guys, welcome back to Yummy. Today we are making a old school tray bake. This is like a vanilla cake with sprinkles on it, like the hundreds and thousands, and this brings back good memories from school. It's actually a really, really simple recipe, and there's only a few ingredients that you need, so hopefully you'll have these ingredients in the house already. So I've just put some butter and sugar in a bowl. You want to take your butter out at room temperature so that it's nice and easy so you can beat it together with the sugar and we want to get this nice and fluffy. So the butter and sugar mixture has been creamed as you can see it's nice and smooth and fluffy and what we're going to do now is add the eggs in one by one. So just crack them in and mix after each addition. We've got the flour here, what we're going to do is add in about a third at a time and mix after each addition. So we're going to add a third in at a time, make sure you sieve your flour, make sure you fold it. Now what we're going to put in is the milk and vanilla extract. There we go, and we've got a nice, lovely cake batter. That's it, so you're going to pour this into your buttered or lined baking tin, preferably you want a nice rectangle one because it is a tray bake. And you're gonna let it bake for about 25 to 30 minutes until it's fully cooked through. did is we took the cake out of the tray and let it cool as you can see. Got the icing. You can use water but milk just makes it a little bit more creamy. You can put as much liquid as you want really it depends how thick or thin you want your icing to be. You want it nice and smooth so that's why I'm using a whisk. We're going to put the cake back in the tray, so I'm just going to turn it upside down. So, icing is on the cake, now it's time for the sprinkles. We're not waiting for it to set, we can't wait. Oh, it was so good. It is a very light sponge, very vanilla y. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna carry on eating, and we'll see you next time. Bye!